Update 24 is live on Bulwar. So I decided to go and have a look at all the changes that were made. I already covered the 64-bit client in a different video. But if you'd like to try it yourself, you just launch the Bulwar client. Hit the arrow, the drop-down menu, go to options. Make sure you select 64-bit client for starting the game. There's now a confirmation dialog when you hit sell all. I'm going to ask you if you want to sell all. The allegiance tracker is now scalable. Make it bigger if you want. Apparently the mouse scroll bug is now fixed. And of course the biggest change of them all, the quest Frodo's Burden, or your walk with Frodo, has been sped up. This is a massive change for everyone. Huge quality of life improvement. Every melee skill had its base range increased from 2.5 meters up to 3.5 meters. Nice little buff for all melee classes. Update 24 also brings new crafted relics to the iron fault tier. You have the gold ones and the lesser ones. I suppose different vocations can make different versions of these, like Might, Agility, Will, Morale. But I think most people will be aiming to get these gold ones, they're pretty nice. So you're gonna need 10 Ironfall ingots and 3 Artifacts of the Veil, which is a new item. They look just like the Rhymes from Anvil. Guessing this is a new item you get in the new zone. The crafted relics need an upgrade for a long time now. We're finally getting this. Great and mastery for DPS players and healers. As well as something for tanks as well. Pretty good. This update also brings a new type of essence. The old tier 2 purple essence is what we had. This is the new one. Tier 3 Mithrin essence. You need crafting material, you need one dark gleam shard, one solvent, and you need one malleable mithrin essence. You can get these by ashing the old purple essences, and then you would craft to a new tier 3 essence. This is what the new essences look like. Obviously they're an upgrade from the purple ones. We just acquire a tier 3 mithrin essence box, open it, get to select any essence you want. And they look like this. The instance finder had a big change with this update. The original one is on the left here, but you also have this little extra group finder thingy on the right. I can hit show all and I can see everything that's being the groups that are being promoted. Of course this is beta, not gonna be a lot of the groups. There's one group doing Prancing Pony. I can send a tell to the leader, I can join, voila, I'm in, I can leave. I can also make my own, if I want to do, say, I want to do Anvil, tier 2, I can hit create, people can join my run. I can select which classes I need, etc, etc. Someone just hosted a TG. It's not a terrible idea, but I still don't see it replacing the LFF. I don't like that people can join at will, what it looks like right now. Because as a leader of a group, you would like to have some control of who is joining. You don't want random people to join your runs. So if they had like a... You could... If they made, made it so that you could hit join and... The fellowship or raid leader could see that you're applying. Would be better, I think. The virtue panel had a big change with this update. In the patch notes, it said that it's not finalized, so obviously it's not going to be 100% working right now. This gives us an idea for what it's going to look like. You still have your five virtue slots at the top. And under here, you have all the virtues, different virtues. Notice that there's a new virtue called Wit. Currently all these 
they go up to a maximum rank of 60. You have the blue bar at the top, shows your progress until the next level, the virtue. Right now I'll need 700 virtue XP for the next rank. And underneath is the yellow bar, showing your overall progress on the virtue. From 40 out, I was 60, so it's almost maxed out. You can also have up to 7 different, let's call them virtue trees for this. It looks like you get three for free, and then you'll have to buy more with mithril coins if you want. And this way you could have different setups or different fights. You could have one glass cannon build on one, or you could have a mitigation build on two. I like this change. You can save your virtue builds. I do like the way it looks. It looks pretty nice. And I can't wait to see what the final build looks like. 